Hello, and welcome to User Place Plan Creation. Once the payment settings are done, you'll be required to create your own plans. By using these plans, users will be able to subscribe to your site and will become members. Now let's go to the menu User Place Membership Plan. As you can see here, we've already created a default plan for you, and this default plan enables a user to be under in this default plan if he or she is not registered in any plan of the site. The logged in user will be able to use the facilities that you will include in the default plan. We can add new plans by clicking Add New Membership Plan. As we can see, to create a new plan we have to complete a few parts. These are Plan Title, Plan Page URL, Plan Builder, Plan ID, and Apply Restrictions. Let's see each and every part of this plan creation. Firstly, we'll need to give your plan a name, and here I'm giving Demo Plan as the plan name. Then, coming to the plan ID, which is the most important part of creating a new plan. The plan ID needs to be the plan ID that we can generate from our payment gateway. Suppose we're using Stripe. Now, I'll show you how we can generate plan ID from Stripe. First, you need to go to your Stripe dashboard and select Product Menu under the Billing tab. I've already created some products, and here we'll have to create a new product. And for demo purposes, we're giving it the name Demo Product. The rest of the fields here are optional. After creating this product, we need to create plan for this product now. We need to give the plan name for this product. Let's name it Yearly. Next part is to give plan ID. Stripe will generate plan ID for us if we keep it blank, so we're keeping it blank. Coming next is the currency. And let's set the price as $200 for this demo. Next. Plan Interval, which we will keep as a yearly for this demo. Finally, you can set your trial period if you want. We'll skip it and add the pricing plan. Once the plan is created, you'll be redirected to this page, and we'll see Pricing Plans is listed. And once you click on this, you'll see the ID of your plan. You have to copy and paste it in User Place Plan ID. Now, we've created a plan with a price of $200. Let's save the plan before moving forward by clicking Publish. You can see that after publishing the plan, a URL has been generated, and if you copy this URL and paste it anywhere, it will show your plan purchasing options. However, you need to ensure that once you install your plugin, you have set permalink settings to postname. As you can see that there is a card here, and a user can buy this plan and the user will be subscribed. Let's move on to another part of the plan, which is Restrictions and we'll see how all this restriction works. On the general tab of the restriction, there are two parts. One is enable or disable plan. Another is to make this to default. You can also set the price and role of the plan. By default, we've set user place member as the default role, but you can change it according to your needs. You can also apply coupons for this plan. We'll discuss about it later. Let's go to the next tab of the restrictions, which is View Restrictions. It's the part where you can control your users to access different views, like if you restrict any post type that anyone who subscribed to this plan won't have the access of those post types. Similarly, there are additional restrictions, and the next is the single post restriction. Following that is the comment restriction. If you set comment restrictions, then users will not be able to participate in comment areas, it can be within multiple post type. And the last portion is the widget restriction, where we will see all the widgets of your site are listed. This allows you to restrict any widget for this plan. Like if we select Search to widget, then users of this plan will not have the access of this widget. The final tab is the Post tab, where you will get the list of your custom post types or default post types. From this list, you can add restriction for submission types like you can restrict or define how many posts the user can create. You can also allow unlimited posts. It has many options such as View Restrictions Metabox. If you enable this option, then the subscribed user can decide if his post can be viewed by other users or not. If you do not allow unlimited posts for a user, then you can set the maximum post limit. You can also set how many terms this user can use per post. Then comes the restricted terms, which enables you to restrict the user to use some terms. Like if you select uncategorized, 
then the user will not be able to create any post by adding uncategorized term. It will show an alert to the user that he's not allowed to use this term. At last, subscription expired listing status. This allows you to pick the fallback status for expired subscriptions. You can set it up as draft or publish. Let's enable the plan, and as we've added some restrictions, let's update our plan. Now, we've successfully created a plan, and any user of your site will be able to subscribe to this plan.